Hi, this is Saranya Shejala. Welcome to Easy B Tech. Today we are going to discuss about and one of the most important type of guided media is coaxial cable. In previous sessions, we discussed what is meant by transmission media and what are the types of transmission media we have. So let us get into the topic. What is coaxial cable and what is the purpose of the coaxial cable and what are the different type of advantages we have uh, coaxial cable rather than UTP cable. So let us get into the topic. Coaxial cable. The coaxial cable is primarily used in cable TV companies. Nothing but and mainly it uses in the televisions. Mainly it uses in the television to connect their satellite antenna facilities to customer homes and businesses. Okay. The coaxial cable is also known as coax. The coaxial cable is also known as coax and it is one of the electrical cable with have a copper conductor and an insulator and different type of parts we have. And also prevents, uh, it has a ins insulator shielding around it and a braided metal mesh that prevents the signal interference and the crosstalk. See, the coaxial cable is also sometimes used by telephone companies to connect central offices to telephone posts near customers. And this is the actual structure of coaxial cable. We have a different type of parts and each part has a different functionality to prevent signal interference and crosstalk. Let us deeply discuss the, what is the different parts of coaxial cable we have and what is the functionality of each and every part. So let us see the diagram here. Okay, so these are the four parts we have in coaxial cable. The first one, protective plastic layer and next, braided metal conductor and third, insulator and four, copper conductor. These are the four, four parts of coaxial cable and each and every part has play one type of functionality. See, copper conductor. The first one, copper conductor. By using this copper conductor, we transmit the data in the form of electrical signals. We transmit the data in the form of electrical signals. Okay, next, insulator. The main functionality of insulator to provide insulation to the copper conductor. To provide insulation to the copper conductor. So what is the purpose of insulation here? It prevents the it prevents the signal losses. It prevents the signal losses. It does not uh, uh, it does not lose the signal while transmitting to the copper conductor. Okay, that is the purpose of an insulator. Braided metal conductor braided metal conductor or we can call as an braided shield braided shield okay the functionality of braided metal conductor means it protects the insulator and copper conductor from electromagnetic interference as well as crosstalk from electromagnetic interference as well as crosstalk okay it protects that uh, data from electromagnetic interference as well as crosstalk. Okay, so this is an protective plastic cover. It whole protects the inner layers. What we have inner layers, it mainly uses to protect the inner layers without uh, damage for damage purposes. For damage purposes. Okay. This is about an coaxial cable. We have a different parts and each and every part has maintained one type of functionality that protects the data from electromagnetic interference as well as crosstalk. Okay, let us see. We have a two type of transmission. We have a two type of transmission in coaxial cable. What are the types of transmission? See, the coaxial cable transmission is of two types. Transmission types, baseband transmission and broadband transmission. Baseband transmission is broadband transmission. Baseband transmission means it is the process of transmitting a single signal at a high speed. Single signal at a high speed. Broadband transmission. It is defined as the process of 
transmitting multiple signals simultaneously see while we are using an baseband transmission coaxial cable we can transmit a single signal at the at high speed it uh, at one time okay as well as broadband transmission means we can transmit multiple signals simultaneously simultaneously means at the same time we can uh, process of uh, we can deliver the or transmit the multiple signals through the copper conductor okay see and we have a different types of connectors for coaxial cable bnc tnc sma smb and qma rca and f connectors these are the different type of connectors let us discuss about each and every connector here bnc it stands for bayonet nil council man stands for bayonet nil council man this connector is used with television video signal and radio below a frequency of 4 gigahertz see here frequency means speed frequency means speed so this is the one type of connector used in the television for video signal and radio the frequency range is 4 gigahertz next tnc standing for threaded nil council man and this connector is a threaded version of the bnc connector threaded version means sub type and it is used in cell phones tnc connectors operate up to 12 gigahertz and its frequency range is 12 gigahertz and next sma standing for sub miniature version a sub miniature version a this connector is used with cell phones wifi antenna systems microwave systems and radios sma connectors operate up to 18 gigahertz see standing for sub sma standing for sub miniature version a this connector is used in cell phones wifi antenna systems microwave systems and radios also we using an sma connector smb means it is a version b connector used in telecommunications hardware and next qma it is stands for quick locking used with industrial and communication hardware for industrial purposes we use an qma connectors to transmit data from source to destination okay rca stands for radio corporation of america these are the connectors used in audio and video and these are grouped yellow white and red cables used in wireless televisions see let observe that in wireless televisions we have a three types of wires yellow white red cables by using these wires we are generating a data uh, through the television okay from uh, in this generation we doesn't we doesn't see that type of cables yellow white and red cables we have a new concept nothing but an dish tv and uh, set up cable set up boxes so rca connector is used for that type and f connectors f f types is a digital and cable televisions and we have a two types of cables here rg6 or rg59 for older televisions we use an rg59 for newer thing we uh, rg6 we using it has a high bandwidth and high frequency hardware where internet and satellite signals and these are the different type of connectors we have to connect a coaxial cable in different styles it has both male connectors as well as female connectors male connectors and female connectors what are the advantages of coaxial cable rather than utp see coaxial cable supports high bandwidth and it is easy to install less affected by noise or crosstalk or electromagnetic interface i already said it prevents the electromagnetic interference and crosstalk but it's com it's not completely avoided emi for somewhat uh, compared to utp for somewhat it reduces the electromagnetic interference as well as the crosstalk coaxial cable supports multiple channels and what are the disadvantage of coaxial cables coaxial cables are expensive and it has a multi layers it is very bulky it has a multi layers to protect uh, signals from crosstalk and electromagnetic interference it has a multiple layers for that sake it is very bulky okay so these are the advantages and disadvantages of coaxial cable this is another type of guided media 
wire nothing but an coaxial cable we discussed in this video what is meant by coaxial cable and what are the different parts we have in coaxial cable and we also discussed each and every functionality of an coaxial cable in the next video we discuss another important guided media nothing but an fiber optic kindly like share and subscribe ecb tech for more videos thank you